Hi, we are Project Scorpio. We are part of the Offroad Student Association at Wrocław University of Science and Technology. We have been operating since 2011. Our team consists of 50 members divided into different departments – mechanical, electronical, software, marketing and science. We attended various competitions such as University Rover Challenge, Canadian International Rover Challenge and European Rover Challenge. Some of our successes include first place at ERC 2014, first place at URC 2015 and fifth place at CIRC 2019. We are one of the oldest and most titled teams in Poland and we use our knowledge to promote space sector in our country. To manage our workflow, we use ClickUp platform. Each department uses specialized software to aid in design process. This includes SolidWorks, Eagle and so on. Physical work takes place at our small workshop in one of the dormitories. Here we assemble and program the rover. We have access to basic tools and materials. More sophisticated components are made by external contractors. We test our rover in indoor and outdoor environment. Basic tests are performed at the workshop, but more complex ones like the range and autonomy tests take place at nearby parking lot or an abandoned airfield. Scorpio 7 has an abandoned four-wheel rocker suspension system. Rockers are connected by two triangle levers linked by a beam. This solution increases stiffness and the stability of the whole suspension. Thanks to that, it can cross extreme terrains, such as obstacles up to diameter of the wheel, about 30 cm, and vertical cliffs up to 1 meter. Very low sensor of mass allows us to overcome steep angles up to 45 degrees. The driving module features all-wheel drive with BLDC motors, which help the rover climb slopes in difficult terrain. To provide good traction on both the Mars field and Moon field, we use special tires made from Cordurac fabric. To comply with the rules, our rover fits in a cube with side length of 1.2 meter. The whole suspension system weighs 36 kilograms. Our rover is powered by 6S LiPo batteries connected to other modules by 24 volts bus. The driving module is equipped with a visible kill switch that cuts power from batteries in case of emergency. Every PCB made by us has overvoltage, overcurrent and reverse polarity protection. As our main computer, we use Nvidia Jetson DX2 with multiple auxiliary mini computers in form of the Raspberry Pi. We chose Jetson DX2 because of its capability to process multiple video streams at the same time and low power consumption. To connect every computer, camera and other heavy traffic modules, we use an Ethernet link. Other modules such as robotic arm, driving module, GNSS and science module use Canvas to provide robust communication. The robotic arm has 6 degrees of freedom and weights 9 kilograms. We design it with use of warm and harmonic gear reducers to maximize precision and stiffness. It has a maximum range of 1.2 meter and it can lift up to 5 kilograms on maximum extension. Gripper, moved by a lead screw, gives us satisfactory grip strength. We can change the end tips of the effector to adapt it to different tasks, such as taking soil samples. As our main construction materials, we use carbon fiber, aluminum and PETG to provide necessary strength to mass ratio. Shoulder and elbow joints are powered by PLDC motors. Other joints use regular DC motors. To provide and track position of every joint, we use absolute encoders and custom controllers. It also allows us to incorporate 3D inverse kinematics. It's designed to simplify panel operation during sample and launch mission. Our rover is equipped with many sensors, temperature, humidity and pH. But the most important are nitrogen, potassium and phosphorus sensors. They allow us to measure content of mentioned elements in a soil in order to choose the best places to take samples from. To complete the sample and launch mission, we redesigned the robotic arm scraper, which is also capable of taking soil samples and putting them in the Universal Land Exploration Platform, ULEP. ULEP is capable of storing up to five samples isolated from the environment. Our plan analysis includes, but it's not limited to using a Raman spectrometer. Spectral data received from this device will be crucial for examining the composition of the sample. Our team will be looking for Raman shifts characteristic for compounds such as amino acids which will state the presence of life. We will also use a microscope. It allows us to find microfossils which may state the presence of life in the past. All data collection from the experiment is done by our web app to make it easy to view and analyze. We can present results in the form of charts, tables and reports. 
all generated in real time. In order to complete the visual part of the mission, the Scorpio 7 also has three independent cameras on board. The visual system of our rover is mounted in two different locations. First is the main body of the rover and the second on the masts. One of the cameras mounted on the mast is capable of 300 degree rotation. This feature will allow us to take panoramic pictures of the surroundings. Our communication system is based on 2.4 GHz AirMax technology, suitable for long-range applications. To maintain a strong signal with the rover, we create a rotor with high energy gain directional antenna. It's capable of autonomous tracking the rover in real time to provide the best signal possible. We are also focused on real-time bandwidth monitoring and data transfer optimization to create much more stable communication system. The design system will assure a strong and stable connection at Mars and Moon fields. The communication mast is modular and weighs 15 kilograms. Its height can range from 1 up to 5 meters. When extended over 2 meters, it's supported by a set of guy wires for stability. We are happy to say that our rover is prepared for all missions and challenges at the Anatolian Rover Challenge. Scorpio 7 was thoroughly tested to make sure it complies with the rules of the competition. We hope to see you in July.